So, today gawa lang tayo ng facial mist kasi nga sobrang init dito sa Arizona. Tapos dry heat pa. So, napakababa ng humidity level. So, hindi ako pinagpapawisan. So, ang nangyari, na, na, katulad nyo, no, yung kamay ko nagtadry na ulit. Yan, kasi sobrang drying talaga dito. So, gawa ko ng facial mist para um, if ever gusto ko consistently, pwede ako mag mag-spray. Nandito lang naman ako sa bahay. At, since aloe vera gel naman siya, pwede ko na siyang gamitin sa skin ko. Ayan. Pag meron akong dry skin. Ayan. So, yung entire video, um, naka-English siya. So, para makarelate din yung ibang nationality. So, since alam ko naman tayo mga Pilipino, magaling naman tayo maintindihan na English. So, alam ko yung may intindihan nyo yung entire video. So, insert video. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're going to make a um, DIY facial mist using just two ingredients which is aloe vera and purified water. So, the reason why I'm making this is because here in Arizona, and especially it's already you know, summer, um, it is really very hot and especially during summer it's gonna be like dry heat. So, instead of buying inexpensive products, which we don't know most of the ingredients are, so this will be the um, safest idea or DIY for us to be able to make a good facial mist. So you can use any aloe vera gel. Um, you can use the one that you buy from any beauty boutique like Nature Republic or Bench. So since we already have this at home, I'm gonna use this one. And then this is the purified water. Um, instead of using tap water, we need to use purified water because if you use tap water, it actually dries your skin more. So, and then you need a um, measuring spoon and then funnel and also a spray bottle. So you can opt to use the um, travel um, spray bottle, but since I'm just going to be staying at home, <laughs> I'll just use this one, the ones that's available. So. So measurement will be one is to one. So depending on how much you would like to make. So one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and then one tablespoon of your purified water. So let's see. Let's put this one. water so I'm going to make at least half of this um, spray bottle since I'm gonna be using this the entire day like as much as I want to since this is safe this is just um, aloe vera in water so there's no other harmful chemicals that is included. Okay. So whenever you're making um, makeup products, they usually use distilled water as a solvent. But for if you're going to make your own um, beauty product or you're making like DIYs, um, you need to preferably use um, purified water. Because if you're going to use tap water, it includes some bacteria that we don't know or bacteria that is actually in the tap water. So safe to use is purified water instead of tap water. So, so far, it's not yet half of what I want to. So just keep going. And also it depends on how liquidy you would like to have to how liquidy you want your 
face mist to be or how thick you want it to be but I prefer to have it like one is to one proportion or one is to one ratio so I'll just keep doing this so I'm just scooping out the water here because I cannot put it all the way up okay so this is not half of what I want to yet but let us see so I'll just secure this one and then shake it well so as you can see it's a little thick than what I want to but let us see if I spray it if, it, if I spray if it's okay <laughs> it's not spraying out because the um, the texture is still a little thick so what I would do is put the funnel back and then add more water so I'll just add three because I think it's too thick the aloe vera gel that we have is a little too thick there so that is the consistency that we're looking for there you go so let's test it so make sure it's like it has a good distance away from your face before you spray it so you wouldn't be too shocked <laughs> yep. That's our DIY facial mist. It's cooling. But I think it's still a little thick for my face. I think the texture is still a little, a little thick. I want it more thinner. Straight to my eye. <gasps> Can you see? Yeah. So now we have our facial. Okay, so piece of advice if you're going to use this kind of aloe vera gel, which is a hundred percent pure aloe vera gel, which is you know, this is very, very thick. So I prefer that you use it like two to one ratio. So two tablespoons of purified water um, and then one tablespoon of this aloe vera gel. So the good thing about this is you can always tweak it. So depending on how liquidy you would like to have um, for the texture of your um, face mist. 
Natuyo na yung aloe vera. Ayan. Maayos na siyang tignan. Tsaka nakakaano siya. Feeling ko na na-hydrate yung skin ko in fairness. Ayan, so. So, ginawa lang natin yung vlog na naka-English para makarelate din yung ibang tao. So, as mentioned, kung gagawa kayo ng aloe vera na facial mist, um, if gagamit kayo ng 100% uh, pure na aloe vera, um, I recommend na gawin nyo muna ng 2 is to 1, um, 2 tablespoons of purified water, and then 1 tablespoon of aloe vera gel. Um, kasi hindi siya talaga, ano eh, sobrang thick niya talaga eh. Iba yung texture niya dun sa nabibili natin sa Nature Republic, sa bench, na parang medyo, um, medyo liquidy siya. Nagkasama na siyang konting tubig. So, ito kasi 100% pure gel. So, sobrang thick niya. So, kaya ito yung gamit ko. I recommend na gumamit kayo nung pang travel. Yung travel na spray. Yung talagang pang facial spray. Pag ito, ginamit ko nung ito kasi pang malakasan. And then, tsaka kasi nasa bahay lang naman ako. So, ito kasi yung available dito. Kaysa bumili pa ako, magsiyang pa ako ng pera. Ayan. So, nung nakita nyo sa ibang vlog ko, bumili ako ng e.l.f. na facial mist. Um, ginagamit ko lang siya pag lalabas ako. Kasi nakakaya naman din ito sa labas. Diba? <laughs> Talaga naman sa bag mo ko. No? Ayan. So, sobrang thin na yun nung ano niya yung consistency niya, yung texture niya. So, okay na siya para sa akin. Ayan. So, eto, at least to, hindi ako matatakot gamitin na as frequent as I want. Kasi nga, alam ko, ang laman niya is aloe vera gel lang naman and purified water. Ayan. So, kaya ang ginamit namin, ginamit ko is purified water kasi kung tap water yung gagamitin natin, mas nakaka-dry siya ng skin. Tapos may mga other bacteria pa na included dun sa tap water na hindi natin alam. So, ang nabasa ko, okay maglala, nagbubasa ko ng kumay. Um, nabasa ko pag um, gumagamit, gumagawa ng makeup products, distilled water yung ginagamit nila as solvent. Pero pag gagawa ka ng DIY, ang nire-recommend is purified water. So, um, papakita ko lang sa inyo itong um, simple representation ng virus at ng importance ng hand washing. So, if meron kayong mga anak or mga bata na or kung mag-anak na ayaw talagang mag-hand wash at hindi naniniwala na natatanggal nito yung germs and virus and bacteria sa ating mga kamay. So, papakita natin sa kanila itong simple representation kung gano'ng ka-importante ang hand washing. So, kumula ako ng water, linalagyan ko ng pepper. So, yung pepper ang mag-represent ng bacteria and virus. And then, dish washing soap. So, dumihan ko lang ang kamay ko kasi kakahugas ko lang ang kamay. Marami yung kamay ko. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo. Marami yung aking kamay. So, pag nilagay ko dyan, so, ayan yung virus. Ayan. So, dumikit na sa aking kamay. Ayan siya. So, nasa kamay ko na ang bacteria in yung virus. So, kuha tayo ng soap. Ayan. So, pag nakita nyo, nakita nyo, lumayo kagad yung mga bacteria in virus. So, ganun siya ka-effective. So, yun ang importance ng hand washing. Ayan. So, wag na wag nyo i-disregard yung pag-hand wash as much as possible or as much as you can. Kasi nga, um, nakaka-prevent to o natatanggal niya yung mga bacteria and virus na kumakapit sa balat natin. So, that's all for today guys. Hopefully, meron kayo natutunan. 
And please don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time you upload a new vlog. So, till next time guys. Bye!